It's an amazing quality camera. Like, you really can't beat it. For my own wedding work, it's, it's the perfect camera uh, as a wedding camera if you want to use it as your main camera. Good. To me, the clarity of the sensor, the, the quality of the imagery, it really just stands out. It's very robust and colorful and, you know, pops. So the a7 III, a 24 megapixel camera, is the perfect file size, I think, for a wedding. You still have enough beefy of a file if you want to crop in a little bit, you can do that. It's not a huge file and so, you know, storage and media, you know, become a problem you're shooting 3,000 and 4,000 images at a wedding. The other thing, it has the new battery. I mean, the battery lasts twice as long. I love that they put new dual card slots through the vertical grip. I put two batteries in, cards, and I just can go for the whole day if I want. And there's things that like happen fast on the wedding day. A couple walking down the aisle, dancing, people moving. You know, then I rely on the autofocus system of the camera and I put it on auto and I let it do its job and it doesn't fail me. And it's nice with the, with the contrast and the phase detection working together now because you know, the contrast sort of is front to back and the phase is side to side, 3D. You know, it's great to have that ability to, to grab fast moving images. So silent shutter, mechanical shutter, that's very important to a wedding photographer. Even mechanical shutter, it's so quiet. You know, you can leave it on mechanical and shoot most of the day. The other thing that I've been doing in a lot of my weddings for the last year or so is really shooting very little flash. I'll use my 70 to 200, I'll use my 85 G Master, one of those two lenses, and shoot, you know, wide open, silent shutter, and nobody knows that I'm there. Like, I can just sit there and take pictures to get those moments. It's really nice to have all that functionality in a camera that's very reasonably priced.